Let's all be honest with ourselves, okay? When it comes to billionaires, we all want to be one at one point in time in our lives. Because when you're a billionaire, you can do just about anything in terms of buying things that you want, need, desire, or just want to say you have. And when billionaires flash their worth to the world, the world absolutely watches. Even when the things they get are absolutely dumb to the core. Given that, allow us to show you the 10 dumbest things billionaires have owned. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Number 10. Golden Toilets Yes, this is real. In 2013, Kim Kardashian and Kanye West, who might get divorced soon, decided that they were going to make sure their house was stylish from the outside all the way into the bathroom. So much so that they wanted to have a very special, exotic, golden toilet. Again, this is real. But not just one toilet, they got four of them. The cost of these gold-plated toilets was $750,000. Yes, Kanye and Kim spent three quarters of a million dollars on a set of four golden toilets. Not only is this a stupid purchase, it's an insult to people who fight and scrape to try and make it by with the money that they have. Plus, that $750,000 could have been donated to people in need, given to food banks, and more. Sadly, this is the kind of thing what you expect from these two when they got married. So in their own way, they're living up to the hype. Number nine, a very expensive haircut. People of all wages take care of their bodies in various ways. Tanning, getting nails done, beauty treatments, that's all fair game. But if you are the kind of person who feels that your hair needs the perfect cut and you decide to spend $24,000 per haircut on it, that's dumb. The Sultan of Brunei did indeed pay $24,000 for a haircut. But that's not all. Not only did he do this for his hair, he also went and got the barber a special cabin on the plane that he flew in on and paid $18,000 to make this happen. Why would he do this? Simple, he wanted to make sure that the barber didn't interact with any of the other passengers. Just as sad, the Sultan does this regularly. According to an attendant to the barber, the Sultan flies the barber first class to Brunei so that his hair can be cut every three to four weeks. Guess this leader demands perfection for his hair, no matter the cost. Number eight, golden jet. If you're rich, and we mean really rich, you're going to get yourself a jet. It's just natural, and it's a cool thing to have if you can afford it. But for one man, he decided that just having a regular private jet wasn't enough. He decided to go and get a jet that had an interior that was solid gold, as well as crystal in some parts. One might understand the appeal of a golden jet to an extent, but it's still a dumb buy. There isn't a definite price on the plane, but we know that the owner spent at least $100 million to get it bought and then another $120 million to outfit it to his designs. Who could own such a plane? It's the Sultan of Brunei. Number seven, my island, my name. Sheikh Hamad bin Hamdan Al Nayyan belongs to the royal family in the United Arab Emirates. And because of this, his wealth is plentiful and he uses it often. For example, he went and bought himself a private island, but that's not the dumb purchase, not yet. You see, he wanted to make sure that people knew that the island was his and his alone. So what did he do? He spent untold millions of dollars to literally write his name on the island. This imprint was miles wide and long and you had to go up in a plane to see Hamad in full glory. It was so big and deep that waterways were literally formed by this. But the biggest kicker, despite all the time and money put into it, the name had to be erased per the government's orders. So it was costly to make and it was all taken down later. Dumb. Number six, the Antilia. For Mukesh Ambani, an Indian business tycoon who is worth billions, he didn't just buy a big house or a big mansion. He bought the biggest residential property in the world. It's known as Antilia and it is in India, towering over everything else around it. It cost around $2 billion and has 27 floors. Currently, the Ambani family employs close to 600 staff members to take care of the house. Inside the property, there are close to three to four floors dedicated to housing the over 50 luxury car collections of the Ambani's. If you're curious, he doesn't live there with just the attendants. He does have his wife and three kids there with him. The house is also equipped with a ballroom, three helipads, gardens, a temple, guest suites, a health level, and a home theater that seats 50. This is a dumb buy because no one needs that big of a house. And sure enough, the neighboring people of India hate this place and protest against it regularly. Number five, diamond Mercedes-Benz. Meet Saudi Prince Al-Walid, who purchased a Mercedes-Benz completely made out of diamonds, or more accurately, diamond encrusted. After he got it, there was a rumor going around that he was actually charging $1,000 
to anyone who wanted to just touch the car. Thankfully that wasn't true, but we wouldn't have put it past him. As for how much did this car cost to make, there are many prices stated, but $4.8 million is the highest number given. The twist in this tale, though, is that associates of Al-Walid state that he never owned the car, and was an attempt to overstate his wealth. Which further proves how dumb this is because he was faking wealth by showing off his wealth. Number 4. Paintings Let's be honest here, some billionaires really like certain art pieces and are willing to pay out the nose to get them. In what was rated as one of the most expensive things bought by billionaires a few years ago, hedge fund billionaire Steve Cohen didn't hesitate to spend over $100 million for a painting that he loved. He bought a Pablo Picasso original by paying a whopping $150 million. That he was a true blue art lover was evident from the fact when he didn't hesitate to spend another $137 million to buy an artwork by William de Kooning. He spent $287 million on just two paintings. But that's not the end of the story, because in total, he is said to have an art collection worth over $1 billion. Number 3. Kanye West's Daughter's Island Oh look, Kim and Kanye are back. What did they buy this time around? An island for their daughter, who was only two years old when they got it for her. That's right, they went and bought an entire island off the coast of Granada for their daughter, North. The plan is that by the time she's 18 years old, she'll not only have the island to go to, but an entire mansion built there. What's the cost of the island, you ask? $12 million. To say this is foolish is rather understating the matter. Again, this is a child who technically owns an island, while many other children in the world don't have roofs over their head. These two have no limits to their stupidity. Number 2. Watch Watches are tricky to talk about when it comes to their value, especially since many people desire expensive ones like the Rolex. However, someone decided that they wanted to make a very special watch, and thus, the Patek Philippe Henry Graves Super Complication Watch was born. It's labeled as the most complicated watch ever made, and it weighs a pound. At an auction, someone bid $24 million for it. Why? The world may never truly know. Number 1. The History Supreme There are a lot of yachts out in the world, and many of them are indeed owned by rich people. But few of them can say that they are made of solid gold. The History Supreme is one that honestly can say that. And as if to prove it, it has the price tag to match such a claim. Coming in at $4.8 billion, the History Supreme is indeed the most expensive yacht in the world, or ever made. The yacht itself is 100 feet long, and it took over three years to make it. And that's just the boat itself, that's not talking about the rich and overly expensive things that are inside the boat. Like what? How about bottles of wine with diamonds in them and the skeleton of a T-Rex? The real reason it's dumb is that should said yacht owner get bored of the yacht, it won't be the easiest thing to sell due to the price. So what do you think? What do you think of this look at the various things that billionaires have bought for themselves and are infinitely dumb? Can you believe that these people wasted that much money on these things? Or can you believe it and feel bad that excessive people like this exist in the world? Would you even think of buying things like this if you were that rich? Let us know in the comments below, be sure to subscribe, and we'll see you next time on the channel.